Hey guys, so today I am going to show you guys a portion of my boxy pop-up order. I have an actual spoiler for the March box that I can swatch for you guys and maybe get you guys a little hype for the box. And I am going to kind of recap spoilers for base, luxe, and premium because people are asking questions and I'm here for it. Also, I have uh, more than two giveaways that are currently live and active right now. You have some time to sign up for them. So uh, check the description box down below. You'll see other spoiler videos and the links to those giveaways as well. Okay, so for starters, let's go through my boxy pop-up order. I am missing one additional product, which is the PMD, PMD, um, lip plumper thingy that didn't come within this box had i ordered it at the same time it would have came in the box uh the first item i'm pulling out is this little wallet um it has a logo on it but i can't even think of who the brand is this was cheap so it was like five dollars or something like that i'm really bad at putting things back in my wallet i usually just put it in my pocket or something which is terrible i know thank goodness i haven't lost anything quite yet so i ended up um just getting whatchamacallit this here just so that i can like slide stuff in here and just close it put it in my pocket put it in my like coat pocket just drop it in my purse it's easy to find um and i like that it's heavy duty and it does have that protective shield thing so people can't just scan your um chips from your debit cards and stuff like that so that was really exciting and i like the print i have like fabrics in my house with that kind of print i know it's annoying but I like the print. The next item I got, I'm gonna move my box because this is kind of exciting. I'm a little disappointed I didn't grab the sweater. I did grab a few things and pop up and I was like, should I get the t-shirt or the sweater? Which one would I use the most? And I was like, I really want the sweater, but I really have a lot of sweaters. So maybe I will grab the sweater next pop up uh, when it comes around. But this time around, I got the BoxyCharm t-shirt and I wasn't sure if they ran big or small. So I ended up getting a large and I feel like I should have just gotten a medium. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on right now because I'm so excited. Oh, I'm not showing boobies, that's good. We're not showing boobies today. I just wanna show you guys, right? This is so lame because like now you guys can't really see my head. I grabbed the V-neck versus the crew neck because I just feel like a V-neck, I don't know, I, I feel like better in it, I don't know. It is um a little big. It is a little big, but it's okay. The fabric is a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be though. Let me bring myself down for a second. Um, The fabric is thinner than I thought it was gonna be. I'm okay with that as well. It depends on how it's gonna wash, if it's like pre-shrunk or not. Also, they did have the BoxyCharm logo like dead center, but I thought for me, that's like a bit much. So I ended up just getting like the one with the logo here on the uh, left chest piece and yeah i'll probably grab the sweater later on but i'm really excited for my shirt though this was like really exciting because now i have like a boxy charm logo i feel like a boxy charm employee when i'm not and then the last two items i snagged i'm telling you like i placed another order and that one hasn't gotten here with like the lip plumping machine thing um you guys know i'm always curious about lip plumpers do they work do they not work and honestly i only got it because i want to see if it works or not because i definitely have a machine that actually works for me i ended up grabbing one of the lily lashes this is in, what style are you in, Jaya? I've had two of these already and I really do like them. So I grabbed one more, not that I need more lashes, but still. And then I got the Unscripted Beauty Lash. They had a more than one style, but this one seemed like more of a style that I would actually use. This one is in the style Legend. They're supposed to be 100% mink. These were super cheap too. And you know what? The packaging looks cute. I actually didn't think it would be like one of these slide outs. Super cool. This is by YouTuber uh, Crispy. That's her brand. So I wanted to like try it, see if I like it or not. Um, I do like how fluffy and fuzzy they are. They're just really wispy. Yeah, what else? What else was I going to talk about? Now let's get into spoilers because I know you guys have been asking a series of questions. What's in base? What's in Lux? What's in premium so we're gonna quickly catch up on all of that the only spoiler we have available right now for the base box is the palettes so the very first one i've talked about it on my channel so many times this is the boxycharm branded palette she looks like this on the inside i did a full-on tutorial it's over on instagram i will be filming another look for you guys with this to give you guys idea just in case you do get it because you guys are really excited for this but i've done swatches and all that good stuff i will link them up here on one of the 
cards but i'll also link it in the description box so you guys can see like full on swatches this palette is beautiful so i will be creating another look and using the palette and giving you guys some tips and tricks on to what brushes i use because you guys were asking questions on the brushes as well the only palette that i have not out of the two swatched here on my channel is the living in color palette by hank and henry i literally just received this in another beauty box and you guys will see me unbox it over there and all that good stuff but this is the palette here and the it's kind of bulky in my opinion it's not a deal breaker it's not a big deal i'm just giving you guys like my initial thoughts because this is all first impressions the packaging i love the aesthetics i love the color concept i love that it has the colors on the back it's all like a metallic look the packaging is beautiful it's just kind of thick though you know she thick when you open her up you do have a mirror i really do appreciate a mirror and then you have your shades all here which i will swatch for you real quickly Here you have the first row, the pink, here is a row number two, and here is row number three. I had to go and literally wash the swatches off because it stained my like arm. <laughs> so off the bat, I am going to say, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be disappointed if you wanted this one and you get this one, or if you wanted this one and you get this one. There are shades here that are fairly similar to one another. This shade here, which has no name, does it have a name? Yes, it does. It's Mariana French Trench. This shade is pretty similar to full size. And then Charmer is very similar to this teal green over here. So that's something to look at. This Cup of Joe is lighter. This one is deeper, but it's kind of like in the same family. So it's one of those things where I know a lot of people are into this palette for this shade in particular and even Sneak Peek. But Sneak Peek is very similar to this uh, bronzy shade down here. The tone can be off maybe by like a percent, but they're kind of very similar um let me swatch full size for you and then i want to swatch this bottom one down here so you guys get an idea i am going to tell you though the boxy charm one picks up a lot more product but you see what i'm saying this one here is the boxy charm shade in full size and this one here is the hank and henry so regardless of what palette you get they're kind of similar so you can definitely pull off uh, a really similar look with either palette so far those are the only spoilers for the base box that we are aware of it's either or of the palette you're not going to be getting both And then we can move on to Boxy Lux. As you guys are aware, earlier this week, those of us who are subscribed to Boxy Lux were able to make our choice. And we ended up being able to see a series of products. Um, I think it was a little different the way they did it this time around because it was kind of like certain items would become available to you if you were to choose a particular item. We were able to choose two items, but we were limited as to what you can choose from depending on what your first choice was. So I found that weird 
weird. I wasn't really bothered by it, but I was like, okay, why did they do it that way this time around? Some of the spoilers that have been released for the Lux box are as follows. I have more detail and how we found those spoilers and all that good stuff in other videos. Check the description box down below to kind of get up to speed with all the information, the 411, the prices, and all that good stuff. But for the Lux box, spoiler number one is the Tarte uh, palette. Then we have a Zoeva blush trio. I haven't seen that anywhere else other than um, in the little postcard that they mailed to people like physically mailed to people to their homes we have the nars liquid lipstick which i believe every single lux member will be receiving part of the spoiler was a sponge gel body wash infused buffer i don't know if that's going to be a variant or not i can only talk about the variation of the full box reveal that we currently have on hand another spoiler within that postcard was the brazilian bum bum cream and the coco cabana cream by sol de janeiro i don't know again if that's going to be a standard product for every single person i believe i'm just saying Saying that BoxyCharm will only include those two items in boxes for Luxers that have not received these items in the past because both of those items have been featured in BoxyCharm or Lux boxes in the past. So I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of confused as to why that is an item. The only thing that I can think of is if you're a new Luxer and you haven't received these two items in the past, then you may potentially be receiving those. Joe has said on an ongoing basis that if you've received an item already, you should not receive duplicates. So um, I was surprised to see those two Sol de Janeiro items within that postcard. Um, I thought it was weird. So that's what I'm gonna say. It's gotta be for Lux members that are new. If we all end up getting it, I'll definitely get use out of it because I love the Bum Bum Cream and my husband likes the Coco Cabana one. But it's kind of, it would be disappointing only because these would be items we've received in the past and we would like to get items that are like new, you know what I mean? That we haven't received before. We want more exposure, not re-exposure, you know what I mean? Another spoiler for the box happens to be the Hello Charmer palette. I don't know how that's going to work. I think it's kind of up for grabs at this point. We have to wait and see what happens. And when people start doing their unboxings, we'll see whether or not you're going to get the palette anyway, even if you chose the Tarte palette. And then another spoiler would be the Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray. I've seen some people get this already, so I'm kind of confused. I don't know if it was given to them in PR or what it was, but I've definitely seen someone owns this already. And the last spoiler that we have so far on hand is the PMD Clean Brush. Uh, that's been spoiled since, uh, I want to say early spring last year. And every single Lux member will be receiving the brush. The colors will vary though, because they have like three, I think three different colors that um, I've seen them like show, use and all that good stuff. And they did say it will be more than one color. And then finally, we can get into the March Premium spoilers, guys. Let's see what we're going to be getting. This is like a full box reveal. There are no variants. If you get into Premium, everyone's getting the same thing. There was no choice, and none of these items are going to vary other than the shades of the lipstick. Every single Premium member is going to receive a Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Trophy Wife, which you guys know I'm looking forward to trying that baby out. Every single premium member will be receiving the Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. Every member is going to receive a gloss balm in diamond milk. Every single premium member is going to receive an Invisimat blotting paper, kind of like a little kit. Uh, every single member is also going to receive a matchstick shimmer skin stick and a Mademoiselle plush matte lipstick. Now, I'm wrong. The lipstick and the shimmer stick are going to be variants. There are different shades for either of those and we're gonna get it at random. We don't know what we're gonna get. I hope I get shades that I can actually play around with and kind of have fun. But you guys know I always get really creative. So those are six full size items for the Fenty box, which is the March Premium box. I keep calling it a Fenty box because at this point, it is a Fenty box. Okay guys, so that is the full on recap we have for everything March. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Swatch of the Hank and Hank.
Henry Living in Color palette. And yeah, let me know down below what do you guys think? Which of the two palettes do you want? Do you want the Boxy Charm one or do you want the Hank and Henry? palette and yeah that is a wrap for this video you guys already know if any new spoilers are released for the base box and or the looks box then i will be on here letting you guys know what is up and yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did stay to the end screens i'm suggesting other videos i think you would really enjoy thank you for stopping by and i'll see you guys later bye guys